Hello guys, I'm going to try something a little bit, maybe it's a little different. I'm going to be reading a Spongebob book out loud. Why not? Just see what happens. So let's go. Also, I have to remind, remind you guys. That's what I had to remind you about. Squidward and Patrick. Hello. Hi. Now she go away. <laughs> Is mayonnaise an instrument? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Aw, oh, you imbecile barnacle head. Alright, whatever. Bet. Anyways, let's go. It's called Spongebob Class Confusion. <clears throat> I guess I'll read in character. Why not? I'm just doing this just to do it. Do something different. I just found this book randomly. SpongeBob, look out! Like, <clears throat> SpongeBob, look out! Shrieked Mrs. Puff. But it was too late. <laughs> like watchdogs too. Oops, sorry, Mrs. Puff, said SpongeBob. I guess I forgot to put on my blinker on. Looks like I failed my boating test. Again? I'm calling in sick tomorrow, Mrs. Puff muttered. I need a little me time. Mine's fell apart. The next day, SpongeBob arrived early for boating school as usual. He breathed in deeply as he entered the front doors. Behold the halls of learning, he said to himself. And here is the fountain of learning, which I drink from every day. He took a sip from the drinking fountain, then continued down the hall. At the door, SpongeBob voice heard, And inside that room is the one who makes it all happen. Slowly he pushed open the door. Yes, indeed. Inside this room is my teacher, one of the only Mrs. Ah! Hey, kid, can you shut the hell up over here, mate? I'm trying to drink a cup of my tea while right, right in my ritual. You shut the hell up and sit down. I need to quiet, kid. I'm going to pull up my clock. Mrs. Puff was not at her desk. Said there was a substitute. What? Where's Mrs. Puff? SpongeBob finally asked. The substitute did not even look up from his magazine. He was reading. Out oh, today, he said, turn the page. Have a damn seat, Mordon. You peasant in my shoes? Yo, this guy's an asshole. Tell me about it, man. Tell me. SpongeBob sank heavily into his chair. <laughs> Said a voice next to him. It was horse. I have a really funny idea. He whispered to no whisperers. Let's play a trick on the substitute. I'll pretend to be you, and you pretend to be me. Okay? It will be hilarious. Horse hor, hor, hor said snickering. Uh, I guess so, said SpongeBob. He really didn't mind. Why is there more? Hey, what the frick? The substitute stood up. He was holding a clipboard. Time to take the damn attendance, he said. Susie! Here. Yeah. Said Susie. Fransco! Here, damn, said Fransco. SpongeBob! He Here! Yelled Horace before SpongeBob could say anything. Horace! There was a pause. Is Horace here goddamn today? SpongeBob felt a poke in his ribs. Oh, yeah, here, said SpongeBob, as Horace snickered some more. <laughs> oh, I'm the quiet kid. Oh. Oh, I love that SpongeBob juiciness. It's the best. <laughs> Whenever I see Squidward and he's using his imagination, the substitute began passing out pieces of paper. Oh, shit, whatever. Today, you're supposed to take this damn test, he said. Everyone groaned. Oh! Except SpongeBob. Spongebob juice. <laughs> oh, yes, he was just like a yoo -hoo. His eyes are excited for a test, whatever. <laughs> you ugly. Shut the hell up. Don't forget to write your damn names in the top, he said. He said the substitute before sitting back down on the desk. <laughs> Whispered Horace to Spongebob. Horace pointed at his own test where he had written the name Spongebob. 
the horrors point to that SpongeBob paper. SpongeBob wrote a reason on top of the name of his desk. I'm a yellow square. I'm a ugly. Okay. Are you that dumb that you have to resort to that ugly ass face? Ah, oh my god, I'm having a seizure type 55555. Five, 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 five. Shut up. No. Bow. After the test, the substitute told the class, Okay, now open your damned manuals and read something or whatever. God damn! SpongeBob head shook up. Mrs. Puff usually reviews the homework with us. And then, af and then after that, she teaches us the lesson of the day and goes, Whoever has the most class participation, usually me, it's to say after school and clap the erasers. What? The substitute blinked at SpongeBob. Is that right? <laughs> Look, lad, I don't give a damn shit about your business. You're looking like a teacher's pet. Now shut your pathetic mouth up and read some goddamn shit, or am I? <laughs> Daddy milk. Is that right, police? Well, I do. Things a bit differently, but you just remind me the teacher left me a list of students who are to stay at the school for extra credit. Oh, glance at the sheet of paper. Oh, just one damn student that would be you, SpongeBob. Pointed at Horace, Horace looked over at SpongeBob and winked. <coughs> Shut the hell up now. After school, SpongeBob walked home very slowly. Hey, Spongebob, called Patrick. Why the sad face? Mrs. Puff was in at school today, Spongebob began. And there was a substitute who didn't do anything the right way. And I was supposed to stay after school fresh out. <laughs> but Maurice was pretending to be me, so I had to, have to stay. <laughs> really? All right, bro, I don't give a shit. I outrace you by 5,000! <laughs> you pathetic worm. <laughs> Patrick patted his friend on the back. Yeah, you're ugly as hell. I love you. <clears throat> oh, yeah, Patrick, come here. Give Jay some love. <clears throat> I'm sure Mrs. Puff will be back tomorrow, and everything will be back to normal. You'd be failing another driving test before you know it. I hope so, Spongebob said, sniffling. <laughs> the next day, Spongebob held his breath as he entered the classroom. There, sitting at her desk, was a beloved Mrs. Puff. She was looking well rested. Oh, Mrs. Puff! Plus, Spongebob. I am sure glad to see you, Mrs. Puff smiled. Yes, and I feel really refreshed after my, um, sick day, she said. Mrs. Puff, Mrs. Puff, the sub forgot to give us homework, even though I, I reminded him three times, said SpongeBob. But Mrs. Puff wasn't listening. She was staring, staring at him. Hmm. It seems that the substitute gave you all of the final exam by mistake, and, and instead of keeping one of my students at the school for extra credit help, he sent that student to take his driving test. All the colors from the from her face. And that student passed his driving test. I have diabetes. Did somebody say diabetes? Hmm. I'm going to stalk you all night. And whenever you take off those socks of yours, hmm, <laughs> feet pics were. Who was that student? All right. Mm -hmm. Who was that student? Francois asked. Mrs. Puff falls before announcing. It was SpongeBob! Hi, how you doing? Mmm, you who time. Chocolate milk. Mmm, you're a you who. Mmm, I show speed has nothing. Well, everyone gasped. <gasps> SpongeBob has passed his driving test at last. What are private parts? Ah, my ass! I pass! 
I pass. I pass. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, oh, yeah. I pass gas on my ass. That's why I do that at last. Yeah, at last I get to a girl and I get her number and everything. Why? Because SpongeBob yelled to everyone as he walked home, even though he didn't remember taking the test again. Hey, no more school, SpongeBob. I mean, hey, oh my balls. No more school, SpongeBob. No. Oh, what? Oh, hi. We can play all day, SpongeBob grinned. Yeah, that's great, Patrick. No more homework, no more school, no more. Mrs. Puff suddenly he realized what this meant. Oh no! The next day, SpongeBob forgot about Mrs. Puff for a while. He was ready. He's too ready and excited to get behind the wheel of the boat all by himself. I'm ready. I'm ready. He shouted. I mean, yeah, whatever. Hi, I want all the Krabby Patties. Oh, Patrick, come here, baby. Whoa, whoa! He rented the limited edition, let's just say Lamborghini Hurricane. Or whatever the hell that is. For this special occasion, even Mrs. Puff was there. I just don't understand it, said Mrs. Puff to herself. How did he manage to pass his driving test? It's time for me to... Move far away. I don't want to be around him when he starts. SpongeBob is driving. SpongeBob mm-hmm. rubs up the engine, and he noticed his teacher standing nearby. His heart grew heavy. He started to tear up. Even though I'm really glad I finally got the, my driver's license, I'm sure going to miss you, Mrs. B, in your class, Mrs. Puff. He smiled. Goodbye, Mrs. Puff, my sugar mama. What? Yes, that's who you are, Mrs. SpongeBob. Mmm, baby. Whoa! Mmm, yummy. Wait. Ah! It's the popo. SpongeBob stepped on the gas pedal, and the boat flew forward and screeched in a hall in the middle of the intersection. Suddenly, the siren rolled and police cruisers zoomed up. Two officers hopped out. Hey, you didn't stop at that red right, at the stop sign," said one of the officers. "License, please, and registration, you asshole." "Yes, sir, officer." "Come back, come back. Here it is, brand new and never used." <laughs> uh, "What an asshole!" "What?" The officer studied the license. "Hmm, hmm, hmm. Seems that there's been a problem." He said, you passed the driving portion of the voting test, but you failed the written exam, dumbass. Damn. Get motion, boy. I have no balls. <laughs> is it a good paper? I was just on the chorus. It was the, I was that, that, the test that Horace has taken. Pretended to be SpongeBob, and Horace has failed. And Horace must have passed the driving test while pretending to be SpongeBob. I'm afraid you'll have to go back to boating school, dumbass. Like, you're a dumb asshole, bro. Like, I swear on Jesus and God, you're dumb as hell. Hmm? <laughs> Too bad. SpongeBob started, st- started to sob. Even Mrs. Puff felt bad. Aw, don't cry, SpongeBob, said Mrs. Puff. You get your license one day. No, Mrs. Puff, said SpongeBob. I'm crying because I'm so damn happy. Mm. I'm not kissing you. I thought I'd never see you again. And he leaped out of the boat and into the arms of the teacher. I need a vacation, when Mrs. Puff softly. The end. All right, this is a good book. I'm sorry, Patrick, I love you.